It is. Kelly. Officer Wells. Sergeant Wills, Kelly. You've been gone a long time. What are you doing back? Why? I asked a question. Tommy Olsen was my brother. Oh, yeah, so he was. I never looked on you as a family man. Can I go now? I got things to do. I'll tell you when. Take a good look at him, Kemper. This is Kelly Olsen. He's a little before your time, but he's quite a boy, Kelly is. That's so. There's nothing Kelly can't do. If there's a better Pete man, I want to know it. When a safe sees Kelly coming, it just swings open its door. It's got the quickest hands in the business. Hey, you can do anything Kelly can, just as long as it stinks. One day, cop. Just name me one day I've served time. Tomorrow, if you're still here. You've got nothing on me, I'm clean. You stink. We don't want you in this town, Kelly, so get off while you still can. Funeral isn't until Wednesday. I want to bury my brother. Oh, now, isn't that touchy? He wants to bury his brother. Kemper and I found him, you know, lying in the gutter. He was home already. You fooled me, Kelly. I thought of your whole crowd, you'd make the gutter first. You lived there longer than anybody else. All right, bury him. Then get out. Thanks, cop. I owe you. Real rough, huh? Rough as a stucco bathtub. What are you doing still walking around? We never could prove anything. He was too slick. This was three years ago. I was in the prowl car then. Kelly was on my beat. There were three of them. Kelly Olson, Rico Lazari, and Tony Bunch. Kelly was the brains. Rico, I know. Tony Bunch is in every other week. Yeah, Rico is smart, too. But Kelly had the nerve. Till they split up, we had the makings of a first-class crime wave. What happened to bust them up? I don't know. But I don't think we're through with Kelly. What do you mean? You better circle this date on your calendar, the day Kelly came home. I think business is going to pick up. What do you want? I don't want anything. Then go away. I don't want you here. I'm your son. My son is dead. This is all I've got. Take it and go. I don't want your money. This is all you ever want. Take it and get out of here. Leave me alone. All right, Mom. Why don't you try to get some rest, huh? The funeral. I took care of everything. I'll call you tomorrow. I can bury my own son, Big Sean. I don't need you. All right, Mom. Whatever you want. Jill. Jill. Well, go ahead. I'm not afraid of you anymore. Jill, I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk to you. Sure. Please. What did you say? I want to talk to you. Please. The great Kelly Olson saying please. I didn't know you even knew the word. Let's go someplace where we can talk. I live here. Come on in. How long 
you lived here? About two years. It's nice. It's the same as your mother's. All right, say what you wanted to say. Get it over with. Will I get a drink? You don't get anything here. I don't owe you a thing. No, I guess you don't. I was just up to see Mom. How touching. She's taking Tommy's death pretty hard. She wouldn't even let me talk to her. I want to help her. You did the best thing you could for her three years ago. You got out of her life and mine. A guy could change in three years. You? Not in a million. Jill, look at me. Look at me. I don't want anything from anybody. I came home today after three years because I read in the paper that my brother had fallen down and fractured his skull. A stinking little two lines on a back page. My own brother, and I don't even know about it. So what did you want? Headlines? Kelly Olson's brother dies? Something for your scrapbook? He was a decent, honest guy. Nobody cares whether an honest guy lives or dies. You told me that. Well, let me tell you something. Tommy was the kindest, gentlest man I ever knew. I don't have a bruise on my body. You and Tommy? Why not? Does it offend you? Oh, he was just a kid. He was 24. I'm sorry things didn't work out for you. All right, you're sorry. Well, I'm not. Tommy showed me there's something in this world besides fear and filth. He gave me that much. Why did they have to kill him? What are you talking about? Nothing. Go away. You said just now why did they have to kill him. What do you mean? Nothing. Tell me. I was at the inquest. They said he'd been drinking all night, but he must have fallen down after he left. Is that the way it happened? Tell me. You're hurting me. Is that the way it happened? I don't know. He wasn't at the bar. Not all night, anyway. He was here. Please, please, Kelly, don't hurt me. All right, all right, look, look. I'm not even touching you, see? Now, tell me everything that happened. Everything. Why? Because I want to know. What difference does it make? He's dead, you can't bring him back. You never bothered about him when he was alive except to beat him up and steal him blind. Well, he's dead. That's enough. What's it to you how he died? Jill, try to understand this. I don't expect you to believe it, but try to understand it. Understand what, Kelly? Jill, look at me. What do you see? I've been away a long time. I came home today and I talked to three people, just three. The first one was a cop. He called me a no-good punk and ordered me out of town. Then I saw my mother. She threw some money in my face, right in my face, and told me to get out. My girl, the moment she sees me, turns around and runs. So I know what you saw. Well, one day, three years ago, I looked in the mirror and I saw the same thing. I got scared. Me. I scared myself. So I ran away. Well, it's too late for me now. And it's too late for Tommy, too. But if he was cheated out of his life by some two-bit rat just like me, I gotta square it. I owe him. Can you understand that? Sure, I can understand that. Coming from anybody but you. But I know you, Kelly. I've been down that street before. You want to use Tommy's death to make a big noise in front of those no-good friends of yours. Well, you're not going to do it, not with my help. Nothing has changed, Kelly. Not you, not anybody. You're right. We're right back where we started from, me and you. Sit down. Sit down! Now, what time did he leave here? Tommy? Yes, Tommy. About 12.30, quarter of one. He said he had to meet somebody. Did he say who? No, I didn't ask him. Did he say anything else? I don't remember anything else. Are you sure? Why don't you hit me a couple of times and find out? The bartender and the waitress said Tommy came in at 10, alone. What about it? I don't know. You working? Smitty's Cafe on 10th, nights. You just quit. Those things you said about Tommy just now, you forgot one thing. You didn't say you loved him.
Attention, attention. The horses are now approaching the starting gate at Del Mar for the first race. Last call for bet. How'd you get in here? Rico or Tony around? Who? Rico Lazari or Tony Bunch. Never heard of them. I don't know everybody's name that comes in here. I don't know you, mister. I used to play here once in a while. What happened to Shorty? His lungs went bad on him. I bought him out about a year ago. That's too bad. About his lungs. Yeah. These two guys show up. Who do I say was asking for them? I'll wait around. Attention, attention. Here are the results of the first race at Del Mar. Six furlongs for maiden two-year-old fillies. First, Honey Gal. Okay. Second, Pink Rider. Okay, you're on. Third, Mary Right. Honey Gal pays 30 to win. 16, 12, 15. Pink Rider pays 16, 11. Attention, attention. Here are the results of the third race at Del Mar. Six furlongs for three-year-olds. First, Patsy. Second, Santa Fe. Third, Lila Baby. Twenty dollars to pay. Good, you're on. Right, yeah. On the park nine. Three. Yeah. Santa Fe. Lila Baby, breathe. Kelly, how are you? How are you? Long time no see. Hello, squirrel. What's the action? Plenty, man. Plenty. Move. You gave Ace the Willies. You shouldn't have asked the boys for Rico. Oh? No, he. Oh, forget him. Gee, it's good to see you. Where have you been? Uh, not that I'm asking. Up north. You casing anything? I'm available, you know. Buck here, buck there. Yeah, I'll remember. Take me to Tony, huh? I don't have to. He's right here, in the back. Only don't say nothing to him about you and me getting together on a deal. You know what I mean. The guy's got to have something private. Sure, squirrel. Tony. What's up, Squirrel? He's all right. I don't know this guy. Tony? Kelly, hi, Don. Hiya, Tony. Squirrel brought this guy in. It's all right. Get the rest of that stuff out of the car. Squirrel, you give them a hand. Sure, Tony, sure. Go on, Rocky, get on it. I don't know this guy. You don't have to know him. Move. What are you going to do with these kids? You got to take what you can get. Where have you been? There hasn't been a word out on you. I kept moving. I had you figured for a concrete kimono. I should have known better. Well, you're back now. And we're in business again, you and me. Here. Still cold. Yeah, how about that? Who is it? Keep it down, man. That's muscle. Huh. Let me don't look it. Who looks it? He swings. Come on, pick up something. Be nice to me, Rocky. I got a friend. Ah. We're still using that operation you worked out. If you could collect a percentage on that, you'd be gold-plated. You're doing all right, then? Ah, penny any stuff. Nothing like the old days. Hey, Tony, what are we going to do with all this bread? Spotting up. Take it home to your old lady. She's rough over dead. My old lady don't eat. She drinks. I heard about your brother. Too bad. What'd you hear? Got himself killed. Slipped and fell. Anything else? Is there supposed to be something else? No. What do you hear from Rico? That dirty fink? Did he tell you? I haven't seen him. All I know is what the squirrel told me. Squirrel talks too much. I did a year in Cuba because of Rico. Right after you left. He and I were in on a box job. He was lookout. He ran and left the cops to walk right in. A year it cost me. When I got out, what happened? Rico's made the big move. He's in the syndicate? Yeah. 
It should have been me. Or you, not him. Yeah, but we'll show them. You and me. They'll come crawling to us. When do you want to get back into action? I got some spots all picked out. None of these guys can handle them but you, Kelly. It'll be a cinch. What do you mean we can't handle them? There ain't nothing we can't handle. And we don't need your cute friend either, Tony. You're talking with your mouth, Rocky. Squirrel says you're a rough man. What do you say? Somebody's been spiking your pablum, kid. You ain't gonna like this, mister. But I am. Are you nuts? We don't want any noise back here. There ain't gonna be any noise. I told you, I told you. That's a good boy you got there. Bleeds nice and quiet. I got a couple things to do, Tony. I'll look you up later. Sure, Kelly. Sure thing. I'll be waiting for you. Squirrel. Don't let him get lonely. Sure thing. Keep it. Thanks, mister. You were working the other night when Tommy Olson got killed, weren't you? You got it wrong, mister. I heard you were. He didn't get killed. He died. Yeah, I was here. I'm here every night. He fell down. You see it? Nobody saw nothing. It happened outside. Two bourbons, Charlie. Miss Pulaski, isn't it? I enjoyed your testimony at the inquest. Yours, too. You two make quite a team. You saying we lied at the inquest? I just thought maybe there was something you forgot to say, like who we met here, who we talked to. You're no cop. I'm his brother. You paid for your beer, mister. That's good beer. I'll be back tonight for some more. Hey, what about them drinks? Keep your shirt on. Give me a dime. What? Give me a dime. It's me, Squirrel. Take it easy. What are you doing breathing down my neck? I, I, I didn't know it was you. Try again. So help me. I was looking for you, but I couldn't pay you for sure. What's Tony want me for? Who said Tony? You and me. We were still got a deal, remember? I can help you. I'm a good man. All right, good man. Help me. Who fixed my brother? I don't know. I don't even know he was fixed. Come on, Squirrel. This whole setup stinks. I can smell it from here. Now, what's the word? What's the word? Rico. Rico? He'd know if anybody does. He made the move. Those guys know everything that goes on. Yeah, he might. Where do I find him? Well, Rico ain't easy to find these days. Yeah, but you can find him, huh, Squirrel? Let me make a couple of phone calls. All right, you do that. Hello? This is Esco, yeah. He's here, just a minute. Squirrel. Hello, are you still with Kelly? I'll say I am. He caught me following him. What happened? I ain't got time to tell you. Look, he says somebody bumped his brother. He wants me to find Rico for him. That's okay. Dump him right in Rico's lap. Okay, Shorty. Yeah, I'll try there. I'll do you a favor sometime. He says he don't know about Rico, but Claire usually hangs out at the Pelican. Claire? You remember her, don't you? The 
Yeah, I remember, but what's she got to do with Rico? He married her. She hangs out here. That's what he said. There she is, back there with a the guy. Yeah, I see her. Who's the guy? I don't know. Never saw him before. Okay, Squirrel, you can take off now. That's all right. I got nothing to do. I don't need you. I'll wait here at the bar for you. Outside? Go away, Squirrel. If you stick around, I won't think you're trying to help me. I'll think you're trying to tail me. I wouldn't like that. Okay, Kelly. I'll see you around, huh? Uh, you know where to find me if you want me. Yeah. Well, what do you know? Hi, Claire. You can run along now, Sonny. Are you talking to me? I'm the lady's husband. I'll take over now. Excuse me. You're sweet, Roger. Call me sometime, will you? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Roger. Here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Waiter. Yes, sir. Lose that and bring me a beer. Yes, sir. What's the matter with your husband? Oh, you've heard. And you probably know he's busy all the time being quite the junior executive. Rico? You should see him. Or have you already? No, but I'd like to. Don't tell me you came to see me just because you wanted to know where my husband was. That wouldn't be very flattering. It also wouldn't be quite true, would it? You're doing all right. You don't need me. But you need Rico, is that it? What makes you think so? I know you, Kelly. Everybody knows me. You don't go the friendship route, you never have. For instance, what's Rico got that you want? You, for instance. That's right, Claire. Ask a stupid question, you get a stupid answer. If I thought you meant it, even a little bit. Try me, after we see Rico. What are you going to do, ask his permission? Let's go up to the apartment. Rico may be there, he's got to come home sometime. All right. Quite a layout. It's what's expected. You shall do this, that, and so, and you shall have this, that, and so. They've got more rules than the girls' boarding school. It's a big syndicate. Yes, and Rico's a very tiny wheel, but he's working on it. He follows all the rules. He even wears a vest. This was one of the rules, too. But it doesn't have to be one of your rules. I'm way out of condition. You can quit any time. Aren't you going to answer? One ring, Rico's on his way up. The doorman cost me $20 a week. Maybe it's deductible. From that moment on, I was in. I'm telling you, Kelly, it's a different world. Our approach to everything is so different. And the scope, you have no idea. You don't have too much of an idea yourself. Well, you are laying it on a little thick. From all those out-of-town trips you've been taking, you might as well be a traveling salesman. You haven't let Kelly open his mouth. I'd like to know where he's been all this time, what he's been doing and why he came back. Let him tell us. I don't suppose it's occurred to you that maybe he doesn't want to tell us. Why shouldn't he? We're all friends. Aren't we, Kelly? One big happy family. Well, then? That's pretty dull stuff. I left town because I had something to do. I came back for the same reason. That's about it in a nutshell. You always were a blabbermouth. Serves you right. If you're down here trying to make a connection, Kelly, maybe I can put in a word for you. Oh, it's personal. Well, can I help you? Well, I could use some information. Shoot. It's about my brother. Your brother? Tommy. You remember him. 
Oh, yeah, I remember him. How's he doing? He's dead. They found him in an alley. Well, what happened? I thought maybe you could tell me. Why me? They're calling it an accident. He's supposed to have gotten drunk in a bar, then went outside and fell down. Just like that. And he didn't? It stinks. Bartender said Tommy came in about 10.30. I happen to know he was somewhere else then. You got a witness? Yeah. Well, there might be something fishy. Then again, it might not be anything. Drink? What does the bartender say about the 10.30 business? He doesn't know anything about it. It's that little joint down in La Brea. The bartender and the waitress are both scared. I was real nice to him. I told him I'd be back. I figure on going there now and maybe leaning on them a little. There's something they didn't tell the cops. Well, you might be right. But where does that tie me in? Well, it doesn't. I looked you up because I thought maybe you heard something. But since you haven't... No, I haven't heard a thing. Not even that he was dead. I haven't seen him in, well, it must be two years. Well, it was just a chance. Rico, can't you give Kelly a hand? You and this big organization of yours? Well, I can't involve the organization, but me personally, sure. I'll go down to the bar with you. They know me down there. They'll think I'm talking for the organization. I'll show you the new operation, Kelly. We don't need muscle. We just walk in and ask. Well, I don't want you to get in trouble with your setup, sticking your neck out for a thing like this. A little noise on the outside makes them unhappy. Forget it. By the way, how'd you find me? Is it important? Yes. If you can find me at home, so can some other people. There are an awful lot of sore heads in this business. I wouldn't worry about it. That's the best thing he does these days, worry. You stay out of this. Was it Tony? It was, wasn't it? He thinks I'm responsible for his going to San Quentin. It was a big Pete in the finance company. I told him no. I told him it was too big to handle without you. You're the best Pete man in the business. But no, he had to prove how good he was. He must have jumbled the wires or something. The next thing I knew, the place was crawling with cops. I had to go down to sewer to get away. What was I supposed to do? You're getting too excited. I wouldn't be where I am today if I stopped Are him. you going with Kelly or not? Yeah, yeah. I'll be right with you, Kelly. I'll, I'll just change my shirt. No hurry. I'll be right with you. Have another drink. Talk to him. Thanks. For what? For not telling him I brought you up here. You mean Rico still thinks you're above such things? He's no fool. It's just the idea that someone from the outside world has found his sanctuary. We'll have to move again. I'll let you know where. Is he that afraid of Tony? He's not afraid of Tony as Tony, just what he represents. Contact out of the past. The organization doesn't like that. Some sort of glorified caste system they have. I don't understand it. I just go along with it. They pay the bills. What about me? I'm part of the past. You must be something special. You are to me. More. I'll take it easy. He won't be off for ten minutes yet. He's changing his holster. He may even take a bath. He's very clean. What's a four-letter word for? It's a four-letter word for what? Go on over and see what they want. What'll it be, gentlemen? Sit down. Call him over. Charlie. Sit down. Now, this is nice and cozy, isn't it? You remember Kelly? Sure. How are you? Kelly's a friend. Maybe he didn't tell you when he was here. No, Mr. Lazari, he didn't. Well, you know it now. Kelly has some information that his brother was here much later than you two said at the inquest. What's the story? Well, he wanted us to say it. Who wanted you to say it? Him. Your brother. Why? I don't know. At the beginning. You tell it. Well, he came in about one o'clock. It was, it was a dead night like now. He asked me if anybody had been looking for him, and I told him no. Did he say who it was supposed to be? No. No, he didn't. He just sat down in the booth over there, and Carol took him a couple of drinks. He was late, and he was getting mad about something. So he comes over to me, and he says, if anybody asks you, I've, I've been here since 10.30. Then he gave me 10 bucks, and, and he left. And that was the last we saw of him. We closed up and went out the back way. Did anybody ask how long he'd been in here? 
to Scott's. And you told him 10.30? Yeah. Just because my brother gave you 10 bucks? No. Well, well I, I don't know how to say this, but I came to work the next night. And the cops were waiting for me. They started to ask a lot of questions. Like, what time did he come in? Well, before I thought, I said 10.30. Like the guy told me to. Once I said that, I, I had to stay with it. I didn't want to get hauled downtown and everything. We didn't have nothing to do with anything. You know, that story's so stupid, it's got to be true. It is, honest. What do you think, Kelly? Nobody's been around since, asking about the whole business? He was the first one since the cops. Okay, thanks. Save it. They were glad to help. Where are you staying? I'll drop you off. No, it's not very far. I'll walk. Okay. What's on your mind? I still don't buy it. Well, let's go back in no, there. No, no, I didn't mean that. I think they told us everything they knew. I don't buy that accident part of it. That guy he was supposed to meet in there. Could have met him out here. I see what you mean. Yeah. You could have walked him over there and dropped him. Tommy always was a sucker for a rabbit punch. Well, it's dark enough. He could have fallen. Yeah. I think I'll nose around a little bit. Maybe I can dig up the Mr. Who. I got a couple ideas. Yeah? Well, if you need any help, send out the word. Are you sure you don't want to lift? No. I'll let you know if anything breaks. Okay. Take care, man. Yeah, you too, Rico. Thanks. First please, and now thanks. What are you trying to do to me? Well, I suppose it would sound stupid to say that I was trying to make up for a lot of things. You really are, aren't you, in your way? Uh, friends of yours? Oh, I don't know who they were. Real pros, though. Didn't even touch my money, just so I'd know. Oh? Well, aren't you going to ask me what I found out? Don't you care how he died? Is that going to bring him back? He was murdered. Do you know that? Yes. Well, then go to the police, Kelly. Let them do it. Do what? Vendetta. That's what you came back here for, wasn't it? Revenge? No, I had made up my mind to come back before I read about Tommy. Here's coffee. No, I, I think I'll try to talk to Mom again. Why? Tommy made it. He was always doing things like that. I forgot. Kelly, leave it alone. 
He was murdered. Go to the police. No. Then go to hell. Me, Mom. Come on in. Stand still, Kelly. This is the police. What is this? All right, get those hands up. Get them up. I'll move over and lean against that wall. He's clean. All right, stand up and turn around. What do you guys want with me? Another indignant citizen. Well, Kelly, take a beauty treatment. Somebody beat you to a cop. Take him away, please. Yes, Mrs. Olson, right away. We're sorry to put you through this. All right, put your hands behind you. No cuffs, just get him out of here. All right, come on, let's go. I want to talk to my mother. She doesn't want to talk to you. Move. Or do you want trouble right here in front of her? Just walk right to the stairs. What's the beat, Will? I got a right to know. You'll find out. How'd you ever get to be so popular, Kelly? Your own mother. Just keep walking. Wouldn't it be too bad if you fell down the stairs? Forget it. At least until we get to a lower floor. Punk, straight ahead. This is as far as I go. If you guys want me downtown, tell me what it's all about. Otherwise, get ready to do it the hard way. Now, hold it, Jim. He's asking for it. It's what I don't like. Could be he's lily white and he knows it. You're getting smart in your old age, Wills. All right, what's the beef? A safe in a warehouse on 19th Street. Just the way you do it. Peeled? Like a banana. Not me. Can you prove where you were last night? If I have to. You have to. All right, then, when I have to. We're wasting time. Kelly, that kip had everything on it but your signature. How come? Beats me. Find the man who blew the whistle. Ask him. Your brother's funeral is tomorrow at 11. I want you out of town by 12. Any argument? No argument. Beat it. You know what you're doing. So do I. I ran him through R and I last night. That job was right up his alley. Oh, he's got an alibi for last night. He says. Well, if he says so, he probably has. He's no great brain, but he's no jerk either. Which brings up number two. That crack safe was too much like his work. That phone call the desk got. It was just a half hour after the burglary was discovered. You mean somebody might be trying to hang this on him? Why? That's the part that bothers me. Kelly Olson's just a two-bit hood. A nobody. He's been in town, as far as we know, two days. And in that time, look what happens. You saw his face. Somebody beat him up. Then that same somebody or somebody else turns him in for cracking a safe. Why is he so important all of a sudden? Maybe he got important after he left town. Yeah. We'll have to do a little digging. Find out where he went and what he's been up to. You know, we're overlooking his brother's death. No, I can't see that. The kid was always clean. Who is it? It's me, Kelly. Just a moment. There's nobody there. It was a mistake. They were looking for somebody else. Look, do something for me, will you? Explain to Mom. Explain what? That this time it was a mistake? That I don't do things like that anymore. 
The cops believe me. The lousy cops. But not you, not her. Should we, Kelly? I don't blame either one of you if you don't. I'm not saying I am a better guy than I was when I left. I've still got a temper. I'm still bullheaded. But I do know a couple of things now that I didn't. I know that nobody owes me anything. I know that there's a right way to do things and a wrong way. And that everybody's got a choice. Whether he thinks so or not, he's got a choice. Well, I made mine. Three years ago, I turned around, 180 degrees. But I can't carry a sign. Is it that important to you? Only that you and Mom know, and that you believe in me. I don't care about anything else. You got in a fight last night, and the police picked you up this morning. It's about the way things used to be. All that had something to do with Tommy's death. I must have had the answer in my hand yesterday somewhere. Did you tell the police that just now? Is that why they let you go? I didn't tell them anything. Oh. Jill, I couldn't. Can't you see that? Whatever you say. Try to understand, will you? I understand. The right way and the wrong way. Everybody has a choice. Well, let me know when you make yours. in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. 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 Pick up? No. No beer, I guess. You don't have to if you don't want to, you know. You don't look to me like a morning drinker. We could coffee if you wanted. Okay, then coffee. Black? Yeah. There you are. Just coming in here to think, huh? Something like that. Well, that's all right. You don't have to buy beer to do that, not at this time of the day. I'm glad to just have somebody sitting here. Oh, him. He don't count. He gives me the creeps. Who cares what time his old lady came in this morning? I'd be glad to trade him sight unseen. Join me? That's the best thing I do. I was in here last night. I made a bet with a fella, the bartender. What's his name? Charlie. Yeah. He held the stakes. I found out this morning that I won. Now, I don't want to have to wait until tonight to collect. Maybe you could tell me where he lives. And I could go over there and pick it up. You sure can leave it here behind the bar. No, no, he's got it with him. Oh, then you lost it. Well, what do you mean? He called up about an hour ago from the Union Station. He was leaving town for good, he said. What happened? That he didn't say. He just told me to tell the boss to get somebody else and another girl, too. Girl? Waitress. I guess they had some going together. She left with him. Where are you supposed to mail his check? Said he didn't want it. Say, how big of a bet was he holding? Just a saw buck, but ten bucks is ten bucks. <laughs> I bet the other guy will laugh. Who? The guy who lost. When he finds out you don't get the money, you'll laugh. Yeah, he's probably laughing right now. What's going on, a fight? No, 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 it's, it's a raid of some kind. I was standing right here when they drove up. They just went right in. There must be something going on in there. Yeah. Okay, folks, let's clear this driveway. There's nothing to look at. Let's go, come on. Uh, do you suppose it could be a bookie joint? I don't know, I've never been in there. Neither have I, but I go by here every day. All right, bring him up. Right, bud. That bomb in Arizona. Tommy made the trigger for it, but he was clean. For who? Hey, let's go. For who? He said something to you. Did he? Why, sure, I heard. Uh, no, I guess he didn't. Uh, excuse me, I'll be late for it. Excuse me. Hi. 
Hello, come on in. Thanks. Somebody work you over, daughter? Let me see. Rico isn't here. When I called, you told me he was. I lied, but not exactly. I expect him. Called me just after you did. He told me to pack. He's going on another little trip. Won't that be nice? Is he taking you with him? No, nope. that's what makes it nice. How about when he went to Arizona a couple of weeks ago? Same thing. Only you should have been here. Yeah, I should have. How about a drink? Beer. What have you got to offer? Wait a minute. Let me go. That was a signal. Rico's on his way off. So? You don't want him to catch us like this. Why not? I'd like to see what he does. You always did have the strangest ideas of what was fun. Okay. Hi, Rico. You, you've been here long? Is that all you got to say? Shut up! I'm just about to take a trip. Got to run out of town on business. Yeah, I know. Well, there's no reason I can't buy you a drink first. How about it? Sure. How's things been? All right. Anything new on your brother? You been asking around? No, I gave up on that. Can't find a thing. I can't find anything either. I didn't have much time, but I did put out the word. Nothing. I guess I had a wrong hunch. Yeah, well, I'm sure glad I got a chance to see you before I left. Gonna be gone long? Quite a while, I think. Of course, I don't know for sure. You didn't tell me that. If I wanted you to know, I'd tell you. What am I supposed to do, twiddle my thumbs? You'll find something. Don't leave me stranded, Rico. I'm warning you, I got a big mouth. I'll send for you. Permanent move? No, of course not. Just business, that's all. You hear anything? No. Well, I gotta get started. Get my bag. Get it! How about dropping me off? Sure, sure thing. You expecting company? What do you mean? You act like a man who's drawn a pink slip. The syndicate dumping you? You're coming off all wrong, Kelly. I'm in up to here. So I'm wrong. I'm going to be number one on the whole coast someday. You watch me. Write me a letter. I'm leaving today myself. The cops are giving me a rouse. They make you for something? They tried to hang a peep job on me this morning. Didn't fit, huh? I had a witness. Good. Good. Funny thing, it was a girl. The same one that was with Tommy the night he was killed. That is funny. She give you any more dope on who Tommy was meeting? I didn't get a chance to find out. I plan on buzzing her again before I shake this town. I'd like to help you clean that up, for old time's sake. Maybe if the both of us went down and talked to her. You got the time? I'll take the time. Where do you find her? She's got a pad in the same building as my mother. It's on the way. Oh, it's about time. All I needed was a couple of shirts. That's all you got. Let's go, Kelly. You leaving too? Yeah. Haven't you had enough? You remember Rico? 
Yes. So you're the one. Of course. I didn't know you were still around. Well, I am. Wait outside. I thought we were going to talk to her. I changed my mind. I'd rather talk to you here in my backyard. Now go on, beat it. No, she stays here. I don't know what you're after, Kelly, but I don't like it. This says nothing happens. What's the matter, Kelly? He killed Tommy. What do we do now, killer? I didn't want this. I didn't want this at all. You should have let me leave. You should have kept Tommy out of your stinking bombing. Bombing? Yeah, Rico blew up a hood in Arizona with a bomb. Tommy must have made the trigger. I owe you something for pulling him in on that. He wasn't in on it. He didn't know what it was. He thought it was for a music box. I don't know how he found out different. So you had to kill him? It was an accident. I just wanted to talk to him. Just like you had your boys talk to me in the alley. Yeah, that's all. Just enough to tell him to keep his mouth shut. But he fell down the wrong way. I was going to tell you. I'll bet you were. You must have really been scared when you walked in yesterday and saw me. Just like today. I'm supposed to be safe in jail on that burglary frame. I had to do that. Just like I had to pay off the bartender. He knew me. You understand that? Sure. Just like you blew the whistle on Tony's bunch. Only it didn't work out. I'm still here and you're on your way out. What are you talking about? You're a dead man, Rico. I was going to do it myself, but I don't have to, do I? The syndicate will do it for me. They don't like mistakes, and you've made too many. You're on the list, and you know it. That's why you're running. Where are you going to run to now? Texas? Arizona? Mexico? You're a dead man, Rico. I'll take you with me. You shouldn't have left that gun lying around. That was another mistake. I ought to make you eat this. Go on, get out of here. Beat it. Run. I didn't mean to do that, Kelly. I don't want to hurt you. We're friends. Yeah, we're friends. I got money. A lot of money, see? Get out. Help me, Kelly, please. You can do it. Don't let them get me. I didn't want to hurt Tommy. I didn't want to hurt anybody. They made me do it. I couldn't help myself. You got in over your head. Yeah, that's it. I couldn't help it. It's a big organization. You got to do what they tell you if you want to get anywhere. Where did you get? Please, Kelly, stay with me. I can't make it alone. That's all I can do for you. What do you know? Look at the dough. Always. Why is it they always go out with a fistful? Count it and call in. It's all right, folks. It's all over. We're police officers. Go back in your apartments. If we need you, we'll call on you. I suppose so. I figured that's how it would happen. After following me here today, they had to be waiting. What are you doing? Get yourself out of here, Jill. Buy yourself a new life. I don't want it. It's clean. I earned it. How? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Well, I've got to start sometime. Okay, on the docks in San Francisco, unloading fish. 
That's my job. Fish? Yeah, all kinds. You can't stand raw fish. Used to make you sick just to touch them. I still can't. It's the only thing I know how to do. It's the only honest job I could get. Turned out to be my penance. You've been a bad boy, Kelly. Shovel a few lousy fish and you'll turn up smelling like a rose. I made love to Rico's wife so I could kill him. How many fish do I have to unload to pay for that? You didn't kill Rico. No, but I wanted to. I still think that way. The cops pulled the trigger, but I killed him. The point is you didn't kill him. The point is I wanted to. I haven't changed. Nothing has. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? The cops are after me. If I make it to San Francisco, I'll send you some money. But you haven't done anything. That makes two of us that know it. That's enough, isn't it? Police officers, open the door. We know you're in there, Kelly. So long, Jill. Quit stalling, Kelly. We don't want to do it the hard way. All right, cop, all right. Get the hands up. Get them up. Turn around. What's the matter, tough guy out of condition? Nothing. Still riding your luck, aren't you? Empty your pockets, big man. I got nothing. Don't smart off with me, punk. Empty them. How come Rico was carrying all the dough? Where's your cut? Rico? He was up here with you. He tell you that? Don't, Kelly. Tell them the truth. Well, that'll be a novelty. What's your connection here, miss? She hasn't got any connection. I used to know her. Rico and I were here together. He was leaving town. I wanted me to go with him. I saw you coming and ducked in here. That's all of it. Why did Rico open up on us? Is that the way it happened? I hope you got a good witness. Officer, he was here all the time. He didn't know what the other man was going to do. Then why the attitude? You know him, tell me. Because he doesn't have any faith. Not real faith. He hasn't done anything and he doesn't think anyone will believe him. Do you? Yes. Well, you're the only one. I've been checking on you, Kelly. I know all about Frisco. Up there, you've got a clean slate, but that's Frisco. Down here, you stink the town up. We've had nothing but trouble since you showed. Now, we came here to send you out of town, and we had to kill a man to do it. Well, we're not waiting for anything. You get out of town right now. Go on, beat it. Go ahead, Kelly. Go on to San Francisco. Is that what you want? Yes. We can pin something on him. You're making a mistake letting him go. Well, I'm making it. Get lost, punk. Your luck's run out. <laughs> 